Okay, good morning everyone and welcome. The Champlain Parkway, I'm Mayor Mulvaney Stanick and welcome to Burlington for folks. I, we're here to really start to celebrate a generational project of the Champlain Parkway. It's a project that was first envisioned before many of us were even born and is now a few steps closer to being completed. I'm pleased to be joined here today by local, state, and federal partners, and so many community members who've been involved in seeing this project through to this moment today. I want to extend gratitude to our hardworking team, our very hardworking team on this, generations of hardworking team members, I would say, at the Department of Public Works, specifically Director Chapin Spencer. Little, little round of applause for Chapin. Yeah. City engineer, Laura Wheelock. Where did you go, Laura? There you are, amazing. <clears throat> and also Corey Mims, who's been the project uh, manager as well. <clears throat> and as I said before, we stand upon the work of many city staff beforehand, and that includes former city engineer, Norm Bald Baldwin, where I guess the town of Colchester let you come back. That's great, hi, Norm. <laughs> and former project manager, Susan Molzen. I don't know if Susan's here, David Allerton and Justin Rabo. I hope I said Rabadou, yeah. Rabadou. Oh, you yeah. French, Rabadou. Okay, great. I also want to thank our partners with VTrans and the Federal Highway Administration who have really stuck with this city through decades of stop and starts or green lights, red lights, however, I mean, it's transportation. You have to <laughs> have to add a little humor in there. Through this partnership, this project was right-sized from a high-speed four-lane divided highway to what you see today behind us, which is a two-lane slow-speed city street with green infrastructure and a robust bike and pedestrian accommodations, which you can see right here on the side here. Uh, this is in line with my administration's goals to advance a comprehensive climate strategy by, in, in, by integrating what we can um, with existing projects like what we're standing here today with, but also moving towards or uh, uh, moving ourselves away from a reliance on carbon-based um, single-user car transportation in the years to come. And we're well on our way with lots of work with our planning department, our partnerships, critical partnerships with CATMA, GMTV, GMT, and others. I also want to extend a thank you to the contractors who've each played a crucial role in beginning this, getting this project through to fruition. This section of the parkway will alleviate truck traffic, and here's a truck right on cue behind. <laughs> that truck will no longer go past Champlain Elementary School. <laughs> Um, truly, and then we'll start to unlock the potential for also addressing additional housing projects and needs here in the city. We'll take the pressure off of our combined sewer system and give pedestrians and cyclists space to navigate our city. And while we are here celebrating the opening of this new section of roadway, I also want, want to remind the community that the Champlain Parkway project as a whole still has a ways to go. Work on phase one, which includes improvements along Pine Street from Lakeside to Kilbourne, will continue throughout September. And the construction contract for the second and final phase was approved by the city council on August 12th. And work will begin in late September or early October this year with projection to be completed in 2026. For many years, this project has taken up significant bandwidth from our hardworking engineering staff. And as we near its completion, we will see more capacity to pursue new and forward-looking projects for our community. We will take the lessons learned from this project to improve community engagement and advance infrastructure projects that make Burlington a walkable, bikeable, and climate resilient community. I want to close by thanking all of you for joining us here today. I really didn't think this many people would be this excited about this, but like, look at us now. And I also want to help welcome a few of our partners to give some brief remarks before we flip the switch and open this section of the parkway. All right, so first up is our partner. Where are you, Randy? I want to get your title right. Um, our, our partner with the Federal Highway Administration, Division Administrator, Randy Warden. Come on up, Randy. So thank you, Mayor. It's always good to see you. Good morning, everyone. This is a good day, indeed a good day. This project, as you know, has been a long time coming. Uh, but I'm reminded of an adage that goes back, I'm sure you've all heard it, good things are worth waiting for. And this certainly applies to this project. Had it been built 20, 30 years ago, you would not see what you have today. And this is so much more appropriate for the community, for the city, for all of us that will use this roadway. So congratulations, job well done. We appreciate working with our partners, our many, many partners. Um, 
I have to say I've worked in five different states in total, and by far the Vermont Agency of Transportation has been one of the best that I've ever worked with and the other folks that we've helped too. So thank you, congratulations, job well done. We look forward to the next phase and hopefully you'll invite us to that ribbon cutting as well. Of course. So yeah. thank you. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Randy. And next up, we'll hear from VTrans, our partners at the state, Director of Policy, Planning, and Intermodal Development, Michelle Boomhauer. Thank you, Mayor. Ah, what a great day. The Champlain Parkway is another great partnership of federal, state, and local partners. And let's not forget our regional planning partners from the Chittenden County Regional Planning Commission. Um, building off the recent successes of the Shelburne Street Roundabout and Amtrak to Burlington project. And I'll try and wrap up my remarks before the train comes through. I can hear it getting ready. <laughs> Thank you to the previous <coughs> Weinberger administration for the 12 year commitment to get through the legal permitting and design challenges to move this project forward. And thank you to Mayor Mulvaney Stanek and your administration for the resolve to get <clears throat> the project done. With the advancement of the final phase of the project this fall, the city is on its way to completing this project, which then opens the door for projects going forward to advance. There have been many dedicated staff who have worked in partnership with the city to move the project forward, including the late Wayne Davis, who spent decades of his career working on the parkway as an engineer from the agency, the now retired Municipal Assistance Bureau Director Sue Scribner, and our current project manager, Andy DeForge, uh, who is here today along with agency chief engineer, Jeremy Reed. Thank you, Jeremy. We're here to celebrate this milestone. It's, it's a very important effort for us. And when I came to the agency 10 years ago, this was one of the first things I began working on. And I'm very proud for the part I've uh, played in working with such a great team. The project was born, as Randy mentioned, of the early highway expansion of the 60s and 70s. About a decade ago, VTrans stretched to, the resp to respond to the city's interest to right size this project. In the end, the problem solving and pragmatic approach by parties resulted in a much better project. The agency understands that future flexibility of this corridor is important to the city. There are already proposed developments adjacent to the parkway and needs of the vibrant south end will shift over time. Retrans will work to support and adapt to these transportation system needs so the city can add more housing and businesses uh, and increase the vitality along this corridor, meeting it with innovation. Beyond this corridor, there are several impactful projects VTrans and the city are working together to deliver to strengthen resilience of this region, including reconstructing the Winooski Bridge in Burling Burlington Winooski Bridge, reconnecting Bank and Cherry Streets, and realigning Colchester Pearl Prospect intersection, to name a few. On behalf of Secretary Flynn and the agency, I extend my congratulations to Chapin Spencer, the DPW staff, CHA, our cadre of consultants who worked with our, <coughs> the team of CHA, SDK, our contractor, and WSP, the resident engineering group. Without all of you, without the private sector, we, we don't have these projects and we don't have these facilities. So thank you to everyone and uh, enjoy the great day. Thank you, Michelle. It's like, who hasn't been involved in this project since the beginning, right? Uh, next up, we'll hear from City Council President Ben Travers, which I saw you somewhere. There you are, hi. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Ben Travers, City Council President, representative for here in Ward 5. Uh, welcome to Ward 5, uh, Burlington's best ward, uh, home to DPW, uh, and, well, and now home to the Champlain Parkway. Um, again, thank you, Mayor Mulvaney Stanek, for having me here today. I want to echo some of the thanks that folks have already provided here. Thanks to Director Spencer, uh, to City Engineer Laura Wheelock, to Senior Engineer Corey Mims, to former City Engineer Norm Baldwin, and many others, current and past members of uh, Team DPW. I want to echo thanks to our state and federal and regional partners for sticking with us through this project and for your flexibility in our getting to today. Uh, I greatly appreciate the, the thanks that I, that I also want to echo 
um, for former Mayor Murrow Weinberger. Uh, we would not be here today, uh, but for his tireless efforts to see this project through to completion, innovating and, and pushing margins along the way as necessary to turn this decades old infrastructure project into a project that meets 21st century expectations. Uh, I, I want to add additional thanks to our contractor team, many of whom are here today. Um, as a neighbor, I can speak to this with authority. You have worked with amazing professionalism and efficiency. Um, you continue to set the right standard for transparency and community engagement uh, through regular updates and meetings with local residents and local business partners. Um, and moreover, as a dad of three young kids, I want to thank you for the hours of endless entertainment you continue to provide to uh, Burlington's kids with your bulldozers uh, and dump trucks. So thank you, and I look forward to that continuing. Um, my wife and I were privileged enough to purchase our first home here in the South End, uh, right at the corner of Home Avenue and Pine Street uh, about 10 years ago. And just in that 10 year span, we've seen an incredible amount of growth along the Pine Street corridor here with new breweries and restaurants, with new businesses, with the city market co-op, uh, with innovative office space. I see our partners here from Hula as well. Um, and that has been amazing. Um, but with it has come increased traffic, of course. And with that increased traffic, uh, all too many commuter, commuters are using Pine Street as a way in and out of the city, uh, creating traffic problems that outsize Vermont and presenting hazards to pedestrians and cyclists. Um, this traffic has been added on top of that generated by decades worth of development down Queen City Park Road and Austin Drive, uh, where manufacturers and residents at locations like our Red Rocks condos and Ledgewood condos um, have been getting in and out of, out of the city for, for decades uh, without the Champlain Parkway, which was a promise made many, many years ago to the folks down there. Um, more recently, the urgency of this project has been risen to a new level uh, with the City Council, with the Mayor's Partnership taking action to rezone the South End Innovation District, uh, where we will be uh, adding uh, hundreds of additional housing opportunities there, uh, bringing many more individuals to the South End, but also creating more traffic that's going to need a new, uh, efficient, easy, and environmentally conscious way in and out of the city. Today is a huge leap forward in finally living up to the Parkway promise. Um, to uh, former, current, and, and future Burlingtonians. Um, as the mayor mentioned, I was thrilled that the city council took action two Mondays ago uh, to finalize uh, phase two of this project, and I'm looking forward to the work to come over the next couple of years. I thank you again for having me here today. Congratulations to everyone who's been involved with the project. And uh, I've, I've already been using it as a, as a biker and, uh, and, and pedestrian here, uh, but I'm looking forward to using this road uh, for many, many years to come. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. <clears throat> All right, and thank you, Ben. And uh, next up, and finally, we'll hear from City Market, our great partner and neighbor here, the Vice President of Marketing, Sheree McFarland. Thank you. Good morning. Um, the team here at City Market is more than thrilled for the long awaited opening of the parkway. This new transportation connection for walkers, bikers, driver really opens up so much accessibility, which is what we are all about. And it also is a huge point for our members, customers, and mostly staff. Um, we are greatly appreciate, appreciative of the city's advocacy to move this to a two lane um, city street with bikers and pedestrian facilities. Um, we really feel like it's the right fit for the South End and also for our store. Um, city Market took a big risk um, moving our second location here um, with the promise in the background from the city that they would commit on this decade long um, promise of the new corridor. So we're so excited to see it finally happen and it will be such an improvement for everybody trying to get to our stores. Um, I want to thank all of the management team for all of the communication that constantly came in to all of our staff. We always knew what was going on. We were able to constantly um, communicate with our staff, with our members, um, and just let people know that our doors were open. Um, we've been able to maintain business, but this is going to be a real big improvement for the market. Um, and we thank all of your hard work. Thanks. Appreciate it. Should we take any questions now and then do the moment or yeah okay so are there any questions
going to phone a friend. Chapin or Corey? <laughs> Other questions? Sure. I'm going to bring up the director of DPW to give a little bit on the Rail Yard Enterprise Project. That's uh, further north of us, of course, for folks who have been following along. Uh, and it is another big piece of the of the sequencing of this big project. But I'll let Chapin give a little update about where we are. Great. Thank you, everybody, for being here. This is just a spectacular day. Um, the rail. Really... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just surprised he wasn't up for speaking. Right? Well. Yay. Yes. Yay. Thank you. I think we also have to appreciate that as part of this project, we moved uh, the filing cabinet tower, which is a representation of all the paperwork that has been generated through this project. We had to move it out of the right of way because it was originally located right where the road is today. All the things that this project team had to deal with to get to where we are today. Um, we have a number of projects in the South End and you heard from VTrans with the Amtrak to Burlington, the Shelburne Street Roundabout. The Rail Yard Enterprise is, uh, project is one of the suite of projects in the South End construction coordination sequence that we've been talking to the public and the council about uh, as we move forward. All these investments need to happen in a way that minimizes impact on our community and our businesses. The Rail Yard Enterprise Project is in preliminary engineering now, and uh, we are expecting the next six to nine months to be through preliminary engineering and be able to initiate the right-of-way phase, which is where we look to secure property rights. We're probably three years away from construction, depending on how the property acquisition goes. The city is committed to getting this project done. It has so many benefits for the community and we look forward to engaging the community every step of the way as we move forward. Thanks, Chapin. And I'll, I'll just add to that because um, part of Part of what has been uh, ongoing for the South End, which goes all the way, of course, to King Street and Maple Street, is the impact on those particular neighborhoods. And we know those are lower income neighborhoods. Uh, traditionally, it's been uh, BIPOC, uh, majority of BIPOC folks who live in that area. There's a lot of partners in that area. And as uh, Chapin was just saying, I have a deep commitment to making sure we can do what we can do, uh, can do to enable the REP, the Rail Yard, Yard Enterprise Project to advance. It's a commitment to that neighborhood in particular to make sure we do right by the environmental justice concerns there, the reality of the impact that for decades has had on those particular intersections um, in that part of our city. And then as Chapin and others have mentioned, as we continue to grow as a city, it's important to, to be forward looking and making sure we're minimizing uh, what we can, the impacts on those neighborhoods. While back to what I was saying before, we really move forward as a city that's climate informed, climate forward in our directional thinking. That person is so excited about the Champlain Parkway. They're like, I want to take a left or a right, but not yet, Mayor. Stop talking. So anyway, um, so we just I just want to make sure people know these things take time and three years might seem like nothing in the long trajectory of the Champlain Parkway. But I know it feels uh, it feels forever long for those particular neighborhoods. Any other questions? You just want to keep asking questions that I don't know the technical details on. Chapin. Yeah. Corey, come Corey. on up. Yeah. So I think the question is what's happening right now as we wrap up the initial construction contract and our project manager, Corey Mims, can give us a quick update. Yeah, um, we are working to finalize the finishing pavement of Pine Street. Uh, the raised intersection brickwork is going in for those raised crosswalks and that work is You'll see that little traffic disruption as traffic's down to one lane and the temporary signalization at those intersections at Howard, Maple, and, or sorry, Howard, Marble, and Kilburn. Uh, we're looking at another, hopefully, a month and a half to have those things finished up, uh, finished course pavement on there, line striping down, and functional usage again. So, yeah, timely. Thanks, everybody, for your patience and continuing to support the great local businesses along the corridor. Pine Street wouldn't be what it is without them. All right, anything else before we get to the opening? Okay. Big moment. Let's do this thing. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Number of scissors in this job. It's ridiculous. Okay. All right. So, I would say, you know, SCDK folks Thank out you. here, you know, come out here. State fat folks, yeah. yeah.
Representation, folks. Uh, there. Yeah, everyone will want to hold on to it. Yep. Yeah, I'll sneak in here. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Woo! All right, sorry. Got it. Okay. Scott? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll say it's literally the real deal. Okay. Yeah. I should travel with my ass and my Chinese. You can do one Yeah. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> smile first. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. There we go. Yeah. Well done. All right. Happy New Year's Day. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, oh, nice. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yes. Okay. 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 Okay, great. So we're going to do one more thing. Uh, we're going to turn on the actual traffic signals for the intersection over at which is the box. Yep. I assume that's where we're headed. Yes. All right. To the box we go. All right. All right. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. All right.
I'm Philip Peterson. I'm a senior transportation planner with the City of Burlington Department of Public Works. And we are standing at the newly opened section of the Champlain Parkway, which used to be the Southern Connector. So this project started in 1960 and it was supposed to be the Southern Connector, but then it got rebranded in the 1980s as the Champlain Parkway. And it started off as this freeway, super highway that was gonna go through the Southern part of Burlington. And now it's transformed into a more modern road with pedestrian facilities and bicycle facilities and some green infrastructure and we've got some knowledge under our belt we don't need a super highway uh, but we do need uh, some relief for our southern uh, streets uh, the south end of burlington vermont and uh, it's not perfect not by any stretch of the imagination but uh, this is a significant milestone and a good step forward for phase one of the Champlain Parkway project and uh, phase two is gonna start soon. Well, we're here uh, on the initial opening of the Champlain Parkway, this, inter this initial phase from Home Avenue to Lakeside Avenue. And I'm with here, Corey Mims, project manager for the project. How are you feeling today? Oh, excited. It's a great milestone to be reached. You know, this project's been a long time coming and to see part of it actually open and uh, operating to allow both pedestrians, bicyclists and cars to come through here. It's, it's a really great thing for the South End neighborhood and it's going to be a great thing for the city of Burlington. It's a great turnout today. We obviously had our state and federal partners, some local businesses. Great to see the energy from the community really embracing a multimodal investment. And I don't know about you, Corey, but the decades of work to get this from a four lane high speed divided highway into a slow speed community street really feels good, doesn't it? Oh, no, this is great. This is a great experience. Uh, really excited for the city and I'm just excited to continue on to the final phase as well. So. Did you think we'd get here? We're here and I am, <laughs> I'm glad to see it. So, you know, <laughs> it's been coming. Great. Uh, well, here we are. This is August of 2024. We do have some additional work on this initial construction contract happening on Pine Street uh, that should finish in the next month. Uh, tell us of what's gonna happen in phase two, Corey. Uh, phase two, we'll be finishing up the Pine Street improvements along uh, from Main Street down to Kilburn. Uh, both the curb lines, resurfacing the roadway, signalization at Maple and King intersections, uh, as well as redevelopment of the what we call C1 section or the I-189 connection uh, south of home is also going to be redeveloped and resurfaced, all new infrastructure kind of put on, and then we'll look to open it in 2026. That's right. So this has been a generational project. Uh, not only have we right sized the project, but by moving this through, we reopen the bandwidth within the city to do a host of forward looking projects. This project has eaten up so much time within the city that getting this off our plates is going to lead us to do so much more in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Keep, keep it going. All right. Well, thanks so much. No, I didn't. Do one. All right.